So 91, 92, you start in the, uh, the West, uh, the Westminster uh, Seminary, mm -hmm. and the, the you have your Master's in Divinity. What what is that? What is that? And what does that look like? Is that uh, what, what does the work look like? You know, I'm uh, academically inclined. I like to read a lot and think a lot and write a lot for my own intra-psychic development. We've talked about this behind yeah. behind the cameras oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. a lot, a it. lot. <laughs> uh, what is that like to go to college for uh, faith? Uh, well, that was wonderful. I mean, we were there four years, uh, some of the best four years of our lives. Um, and who's we? Uh, Kathy and I. Oh, you both went? Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. We both, okay. we both went. And our daughter uh, was born six months after we went. So for three and a half of those years, we had our daughter as well with us. Wow. And, um, yeah, it was amazing. I uh, really enjoyed it. And uh, to answer your question, um, it's, it's, it's a lot of academic study around theological topics. So whether it's studying the New Testament, whether it's studying the Old Testament, it was studying Greek, it was studying Hebrew, it was studying systematic theology, it was studying apologetics, uh, a real deep dive for four years into all of that. Wow. Now, when you took that jump, because regardless of anyone's faith watching this, we at the end of the day are going to put ourselves in new environments and have people potentially mm -hmm. not understand uh, how many friends can we lose on any ladder of success, whatever way that, whatever context you were in the financial services industry, your rising star, and you chose to, and you went to college for business administration. You, 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 you went, you were called to, to, to now it's not a choice, right? You were called to this, this seminary. Did you, what was that struggle? Like the personal, well, was there a personal struggle with the people in your lives not understanding this, uh, friends, family, uh, strangers even? Um, not, not, not really. I mean, most of our friends and family were very enormously supportive. Um, it was really folks that knew us in a broader circle that were kind of scratching their heads, like, you know, what, what just happened there. And I would say that the, um, the, the joy was overwhelming. Uh, the struggle was more with the day-to-day -day sacrifice. So we had very little. And uh, like in Baltimore, for example, we had three cars. Now only two drivers, but three cars. So to prepare to go to seminary, we sold all three cars and I bought a very inexpensive car that I knew would last us four years that didn't have air conditioning or a radio. Wow. Right, so I went from three cars to one car with no air conditioning and no radio, right? And we drove that car for four years just to reduce expenses. I would go to school all day. Uh, we would trade our daughter you know, when Kathy got home from teaching and then I would go to work at night as a security guard so I could do my studying at night as a security guard. And then I would come home, you know, early in the morning, get some sleep, and then wake up the next morning and do it again. And we did that really for our first year. So the physical sacrifice was astronomical. And imagine Kathy teaching all day, four months pregnant, you know, at a Christian school. And so the physical sacrifice was significant, but the... Um, the joy of giving up everything to serve the Lord and pursue Him and His calling for our lives, which we were absolutely certain of, was overwhelming. And that's why we say it's some of the best years of our lives. It was some of the physically most difficult mm. years of our lives. But from a, from a joy standpoint, uh, it's some of the best years. Fulfilled. Of our lives. Unbelievable.